Hi, I'm Brianna, and you're watching Dante's Boxing TV Show. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Now, this is some interesting news right here. So, Oscar De La Hoya just did an interview and he was asked who Canelo Alvarez may possibly fight next. Who's in this near future? And he was asked if Canelo will fight Jamal Charlo. Oscar, he surprisingly says, we offered Jamal Charlo a fight about a year ago and they turned it down. He said, I don't know if it was Jamal Charlo, if it was someone else, but they turned it down and now that train has left. Meaning, Jamal Charlo blew his chance. This is what Oscar De La Hoya said. Now let me go ahead and unpack this because this is not really adding up. It's not really making a whole lot of sense and I'm going to explain why. So if Oscar De La Hoya offered Charlo a fight a year ago, remember, Canelo Alvarez he just vacated his belt and gave his belt to Charlo. So the question is, if you already voluntarily offered your mandatory a fight and he turns it down, why wouldn't you go to the purse bid? Because when a champion goes to a purse bid, the champion is guaranteed 75% of the purse. So one way or the other, Golden Boy and Canelo Alvarez still would have got damn near the whole pie. Now, what also doesn't make sense is when you hear Oscar say, that train has already left. What do you mean the train has already left? Jamal Charlo has Canelo Alvarez's belt. Jamal Charlo, Jamal Charlo, excuse me, is the champion, an undefeated champion, in the same division that Canelo Alvarez campaigns at. So no, the train ain't left. The train is still sitting there at the top of the division. And let me say this, for you Canelo fans trying to jump on the wagon and now saying, see, see, I knew Canelo wanted to fight him. He did want to fight him, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Don't try to change what you were saying now because you guys were the main ones condoning Canelo Alvarez to avoid Charlo and Demetrius Andre. You guys were the main ones saying you didn't want him to fight Andre to Charlo. They didn't deserve to fight Canelo, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So for the longest, you guys have been trying to speak for Canelo saying, oh, he doesn't want to fight Charlo or Demetrius Andre because they're bums. They don't deserve a fight, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you know something else we don't know? We don't know if Oscar De La Hoya even told Canelo Alvarez if Oscar did offer Jamal Charlo a fight. We don't even know if Oscar even told Canelo he was doing it. Because remember, according to Canelo Alvarez, according to Gennady Golovkin, Oscar De La Hoya, they promised Gennady Golovkin a third fight with Canelo Alvarez, which Canelo Alvarez is not on board with. So it could have been the same situation in this scenario. But I will say this though, if Oscar De La Hoya really did offer Charlo a fight and Charlo turned the fight down, especially if it was at least a decent deal. I'm not talking about like they offered Charlo $150,000 or they offered him $1 million while Canelo is gonna get 30 or $40 million. Now that would be ridiculous. That would be one of those type of deals where it's not even a real deal. You're just hoping that the guy, you know he's gonna turn it down just so you can say one day, oh, we offered them a fight, but they turned it down. Now, once again, if Oscar really did offer Charlo a decent deal, even if it's not all the money in the world, but it makes sense, then Charlo is a fool for turning the fight down. This is why now we need to get Charlo's take. So someone needs to go ahead and interview Jamal Charlo and ask him, was he offered a Canelo Alvarez fight? And we need to get some numbers, man. We need to know what was offered if it really happened. But like I said, this is still not making sense when you consider the fact that Canelo Alvarez, he gave up his belt 
if the, if there was an offer once again to Charlo, why would Canelo surrender his belt to Charlo? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. He could have easily told the WBC, we're trying to make the fight. They turned it down. No, let's go to purse bid. And Canelo would have still got the money that he wants or Golden Boy wants. You see? So that does not add up. It's not making sense. I mean, just think about this. How many current champions do you know today that have been in this situation where they offered their mandatory a fight and then later on, for some strange reason, they decided to vacate the belt and give the belt to the guy they just offered a fight to with no plans of fighting that guy in the near future. You only hear this kind of stuff when it comes to Canelo Alvarez. Now listen, I said this before and I'll say it again. If Jamal Charlo cannot get the Canelo Alvarez fight, he might as well go after Demetrius Andre. I don't know how true the reports are, but it was said that uh, Charlo was offered $7 million to fight Demetrius Andre on the zone and that's the direction he needs to go. If he's not going to fight Andrade, if he's not going to fight Canelo, uh, Jamal already talked about moving up to 168 and fighting David Benavidez, then he needs to do that. At the end of the day, Jamal Charlo, he needs a meaningful fight that's on that level. So hopefully Jamal Charlo, he gets that opportunity this year. And since Oscar De La Hoya just said this, regardless if it's true or not, that they offer Charlo a fight, hopefully that means Canelo Alvarez will fight Demetrius Andrade this year because we know for a fact they haven't offered Demetrius Andrade a fight that he turned down. And one last thing before I wrap this video up. When Oscar De La Hoya says the train has left, another reason that makes no sense is because Jamal Charlo, not only is he a current champion, and Canelo Alvarez's division, and he's holding Canelo Alvarez's belt. But on top of all of that, Jamal Charlo does some of the best TV ratings on PBC. Even when Jamal Charlo is fighting a complete no one, he does the best numbers, some of the best numbers on PBC. Him and his brother. I mean, that's supposed to be one of the main reasons you pick an opponent, because he has a name, because people know who he is because he's dangerous, because this is a very intriguing fight. These are all the reasons you take a fight. So it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense what Oscar De La Hoya is saying when he says the train has left already. Like, you know, like wiping sweat off your forehead. Woo, we dodged that bullet. Now we don't have to worry about it anymore. That's pretty much what Oscar De La Hoya said. So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Let's see how it plays out this year, guys. I'm on to the next one.